everyone. Welcome to Mathematical Explorations. Einstein's summation convention. Let us consider the expression a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3. Here, 1, 2, 3 are known as indices. In tensor, we also write this type of expressions. Here, the indices are in the upper position. The upper indices are not exponents but are indices of coordinates, coefficients, or basis vectors. If the indices are in the upper position, then it is known as superscripts or upper suffix. And if the indices are in the lower position, then it is known as lower suffix or subscripts. Let us consider a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3, which can be written as summation i goes from 1 to 3 ai xi. In Einstein's summation convention, when indices repeated itself, then we drop the summation sign and we simply write ai xi. The value of i here is 1, 2, 3. But if range is not mentioned, then it is taken as 1 to n, which is Einstein's summation convention. Whenever an index, superscripts or subscripts is repeated in a given term, we are to sum over that index from 1 to n unless otherwise specified. Einstein's summation is a notation convention to simplify summation over a set of indexed terms in a formula. There are essentially three rules of Einstein's summation convention or notation, namely, number one, repeated indices are implicitly summed over. Number two, each index can appear at most twice in any term. Number three, each term must contain identical non-repeated indices. These are the three rules of Einstein's summation, notation or convention. Thank you. See you in the next video.